in a world full of plasmids and bacteria, there's one thing you can be sure of, and that is biotechnology! Biotechnology is the use of organisms and biological systems to create products beneficial to society. Recombinant of DNA is the general name for taking a piece of one DNA and combining it with another strand of DNA. Step 1 is the identification and isolation of gene of interest or DNA fragment to be cloned. Step 2 is the insertion of an isolated gene in a suitable vector. Step 3 is the introduction of this vector into a suitable organism slash cell called host. Step 4 is the selection of the transformed host cell. We're going to talk about GMOs! GMOs are genetically modified organisms. Biotechnology can produce pest-resistant crops. Due to the pest-resistant crops, less pesticides and herbicides are used. As a result, less harmful chemicals penetrate into groundwater due to reduction in herbicides and pesticides. In addition, they improve quality and quantity of crops by creating heat, drought, and disease-resistant crops. Many developing countries benefit from vitamin-infused crops, and due to the pest-resistant properties in genetically modified crops, many non-target species are being killed. Fact, an acre of corn can be grown with 50,000 fewer gallons of water than 20 years ago. A plasmid is a small, circular, double-stranded DNA molecule that is distinct from a cell's chromosomal DNA. The bacterial chromosome contains all the necessary genes to code for the bacteria's existence. Plasmids provide an effective way by which traits not contained in the chromosome can be passed from bacteria to bacteria. For example, some plasmids contain genes that code for enzymes that digest certain antibiotics such as penicillin and apicillin. This is obviously an advantage to the bacteria. When a bacteria containing these plasmids dies, it breaks open and liberates these plasmids to the outside environment and another bacteria then acquires the traits coded for by the plasmid often takes it up. 